All right, guys. So we have our board briefing for the 29th of September. That's a Friday. And we have a chipper couplet. So high repetition, two different movements going back and forth. So we got box jump overs at 20 and 24 inches and handstand push-ups. The rep scheme is 40 box jump overs, 20 handstand push-ups, 30 box jump overs, 15 handstand push-ups, 20 box jump overs, 10 handstand push-ups, 10 box jump overs, five handstand push-ups. As far as standards go, you must stop, step down from the box, okay? That is a standard for the day. Do I have to show extension like a box jump? No, you can jump on the box, turn around, step down, come off the box and go right back up. Both feet must come in contact with the ground at the beginning of every tip repetition and the end of rep every repetition for the box jump overs. Uh, I would suggest you face the box on this and then in order to do that, you're gonna spin on the top of the box, step down. That would be the, the most efficient way uh, of doing a box jump over step down try not to spin the same way on the top of the box or else you're just going to screw yourself into the floor and get dizzy and dizzy and dizzy all right handstand push-ups um starts from a fully locked out position with my feet on the wall my heels on the wall um i lower myself down with control right let's make sure that we're not bouncing off our neck and then I kick up. Can I do kipping ones? Yes. The repetition ends when my feet are back on, on top of the wall, showing control with my elbows locked out. As far as time frame for this workout, we're looking for 10 minutes and under. Now you're going to say 10 minutes and under. That's, that's a tall order. It is a tall order. So we want to think about if we need to scale today, we're scaling the difficulty of the movement. We want to try to keep the high rep scheme. So level two is pike push-ups instead of handstand push-ups uh, with the same volume, okay? So if you're having trouble with your handstand push-ups, um, you might want to think about doing level two. Even in the middle of a workout, if you get stuck on those handstand push-ups because it happens, once they're gone, they're sort of gone, and then you're down to singles. And we want this workout to move pretty smoothly. So I think at that point, I would scale the workout for myself and just go to pike handstand push-ups, okay? Um, level one is elevated hand push-ups. So regular push-ups from an elevated surface. We can do knee push-ups, regular push-ups. All that stuff is all included. So there's lots of modifications for pike push-ups on a box, uh, straight up on the floor. Let's just make sure our elbows are staying in tight and our head, forehead is reaching forward or our hands. And then we're pushing back and pushing our head through on those pike push-ups, uh, even handstand push-ups, all right? Uh, just remember, standard is today for the box jump overs to step down, no bounding today, which for me makes it a lot harder. It is what it is. Uh, we've seen this in the open, except with a dumbbell, okay? Go hard, go fast. Remember, we wanna be under 10 minutes for this workout, 10 minutes and under max 12 we're not going to put a cap on it but obviously this the workout needs to be scaled appropriately if need be to make that time all right guys enjoy the workout have some fun with it uh all gymnastic day enjoy